Paul can paint a room in two hours, while Hassan can paint the same room in three hours. If Paul and Hassan were to paint the room together, what fraction of the room can they paint in an hour? Now let's look at Paul first. Since he can paint the room in two hours and he's only given one hour, we were going to change it to a fraction. The denominator will be the total that he can manage to paint the entire room. But he's only given one hour, so he can paint half of the room. So that's the fraction for Paul. And then let's go into Hassan. For Hassan, he can paint the room in three hours. But taking note that that's the total, but they are only given one hour now. So he can paint the room in, he can paint one third of the room, sorry. Okay, so to answer the question, our last step is to add the two fractions up. Firstly, I have to change it to a denominator of 6. The first fraction, we were going to have 3 out of 6. The second one is 2 out of 6. And our final answer will be 5, 6. And that's the final answer. If you find the previous method difficult to understand because you don't know um, how to change it into fraction, now let me try to explain it using a model. Let's say I have Paul and Hassan here. And this model chunk that they have completed is the room that they have painted, which is the same room. Am I right? But for Paul, remember, he only took two hours to paint the room. So I am going to separate into two, which means one hour he will paint half of the room. And in the two hours, he'll paint the entire room. Same for Hassan. He painted in three hours. So one hour, he would have painted one third. And then the second hour, another th one third. And the third, he would have painted the, the entire room. So now the question asks if Paul and Hassan were to paint the room together. And the time they're given is an hour. So I am going to find this part of the model and this part of the model. So to be able to add them, what do we do? We have to change it into equivalent fractions. So I'm going to break this up into six. Same thing, each part on the top will be broken up into thirds. Can you see now? They are of equal parts. And the top one for Paul is 3, 6. Bottom is 2, 6. So 3, 6 plus 2, 6, I get 5, 6. Now, is it clearer?